The UN chief has called on Russia and Ukraine to extend a deal that allows Kyiv to export grain. Antonio Guterres wants obstacles removed to allow for the exports of Russian food and fertilizer. Shipments from Ukraine have resumed. Seven ships have already left Ukrainian ports since the grain corridor reopened. Moscow had suspended its involvement in the UN broker deal over the weekend after accusing Kyiv of attacking its fleet in the Black Sea. Well, let's speak to Asad Beg. He's joining us live from Mikhailov. So, what's the latest after the, yesterday's uh, change to the grain deal? Well, we understand that uh, from at least from Russian sources that they're saying that the uh, shipments have been normalized, uh, but. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has come out and said that Russia has fired cruise missiles over the airspace over that corridor, that grain corridor, uh, airstrikes that, uh, and missiles are on their way to hit Ukrainian targets. Now, Ukraine has denied that they have used those three ports and that corridor that are part of this deal to target Russia, but Russia doesn't believe that their, their, their warship was attacked by drone and they said that Ukraine has been using those ports and that grain corridor. Now, Russia says that they've come back to the deal because they've been given guarantees that the officials in Turkey have said that they've also been given verbal and written guarantees that made Russia come back to it. Now, from the Ukrainian side, well, they're saying they haven't said anything new that wasn't in the initial deal. Now, this deal is set to run out at the later this month, and Russia is saying that there's no guarantee that it will be extended. But the Ukrainians' complaints still remain. They're saying that Russia continues to fire uh, uh, missiles and rockets rockets and airstrikes at their vital infrastructure that is causing real damage to the energy supply here. There's blackouts around the country uh, and some, uh, some regions are setting up mobile heating units in, in the lead up to winter. And just on that, late early, early this morning in Creverie, just north of here, there was a drone strike on, an infra uh, on a vital infrastructure and they've had electricity and water shortages. So that's the complaint from the Ukrainians that although that this grain corridor and this initiative, Russia has rejoined it and they're allowed to export this uh, grain, but the war continues. The airstrikes on vital infrastructure in Ukraine continue in the lead up to winter. Asad, thank you very much indeed. That's Asad Beg bringing us up to date from Mikhailov.